Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. In this video, we are going to discuss a problem from projection of solids that has come for QSAT University examination April September 2021, which was conducted on 10th of January 2022. This question says that a pentagonal prism 25 mm side of base and 50 mm axis, pentagonal prism. 25 mm side of base, 50 mm axis, stand on the ground or stand on HP on a corner of base, stand on HP on a corner of base with axis making 30 degrees to HP and 40 degrees to VP. I repeat, a pentagonal prism, 25 mm side, 50 mm axis, stand on HP on a corner of base with axis inclined at 30 degrees to HP and 40 degrees to VP. Draw the projections. If the nearest point is 15 mm in front of VP, the nearest point of the prism is 15 mm in front of VP. Okay, that's the question. I am going to draw it by redrawing method as well as auxiliary projection method. I am, first of all, I am drawing by you redrawing method, simple position plan and elevation, 25 mm side plan and elevation. That 15 mm is not taken here, it is not required here. Okay, plan and elevation. Then I have redrawn that elevation. How do I redraw? In such a way that this corner D dash comes on XY line, D1 dash, axis makes 30 degrees to XY line, so that this angle is 60, this is 60, this is 30 means this is 60. Okay, what will be the method? You redraw that elevation and project a new plan. When you get the new plan, how do you get it? Uh, this is A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, O1, F1, G1, H1, I1, I1, J1, E1. You are looking from the top. You are looking from the top to get the plan now. Which will be visible? This pentagon will be visible. Part of this pentagon will be visible. dotted from from axis coincide with the dotted line this is this is the plan this is the plan how is the axis now axis is 30 degrees to hp and parallel to vp the question says axis is 30 degrees to HP and 40 degrees to VP. That is phi of axis is 40. You have to find out beta. How do you find out beta? Draw a line at phi. Phi equals 40. Draw a line of true length of axis 50. TL equals 50. Get a locus. Take the plan length of the axis from here and cut an arc. This is plan length, this angle is beta. I don't know what is beta. I do not know what is that angle called beta. I have not drawn this to dimension. Therefore, I do not know how much is beta. You have to find out. Okay, now with that beta, draw a line. With that beta, draw a line. Then this distance is equal to this distance. Same. When I prepare the drawing, this looks a little bit smaller than and this big, looks bigger. But both will be same. So take this distance and draw two lines. D1. 
this to this same agreed when you are going to move it like this this j is going to be nearer to xy line so 15 mm below draw a horizontal line what is this this is j2 agreed with that as j2 measure this angle draw a line of this length measure this angle draw a line sorry this angle is drawn inside now sorry sorry sir complete the plan measure this angle and draw it inside measure this angle this this angle this angle and draw that line then complete this pentagon which is that pentagon that pentagon is f2 g2 h2 i2 j2 on that locate p2 now taking those lengths taking those lengths in this direction you have to you have to complete the plan here and erase whatever unnecessary portions exist this is a2 b2 c2 d2 e2 that is a little bit far away. it may come somewhere like this somewhere here really put so you have redrawn the plan you have redrawn the plan you have redrawn the plan such that axis makes plan of axis makes this is plan of axis plan of axis makes beta to x y line beta you have calculated in such a way that the nearest corner is 15 mm in front of vp away from vp 15 mm in front of vp or away from vp now you project the final elevation you know the procedure of drawing the elevation draw vertical projectors up draw horizontal projectors you will get the final elevation in the final elevation you are you know that the base will be visible the base will be visible this is how the base will look like and if you come to that uh, top i don't know since i am not taking dimensions no my drawings won't be good enough but uh, for you to understand i am trying my level best i f g h i i this first of all i have to name then only i will be able to a2 dash b2 dash c2 dash d2 dash e2 dash then this is uh, i2 dash i h h2 dash No, no, something went wrong. Okay, I H G F 
if this is G, if g h i j j has to come somewhere here j j j j j j j j to dash okay Since I am not following dimensions, there may be changes in the visible and invisible lines. The line which I mark as visible may sometimes be invisible in your case. This is the axis. The, the shape will be something like this. Even though my shape is not perfect, it will be something like this. All dotted and firm I have marked. Some there will be some interchange between dotted and firm lines. So this is how you draw by redrawing method. You are ensuring that the nearest corner J2 is 15 mm below XY, or the nearest point is 15 mm away from VP. That condition is maintained. It is not here that you do it. It is in this view that you do it. That's the most important thing. Okay, now if you draw this by auxiliary projection method, it will be much, much easier. If you draw this by read auxiliary projection method, it is much, much easier. Draw same simple position plan and elevation. Then through D dash, draw a line. Through D dash, draw a line which is x1, y1, making 30 degrees. Thirty degrees to the axis. This is the axis. So this is thirty degrees. Excellent, my God. Then project a new plan. Draw projectors perpendicular to x one by one. You know. Take the distance of the plan. A is this much below. So on this projector, you have got A one. Here is B1, here is C1, here is D, I mean E1, here is D1, here is O1. Similarly, you have got, uh, I am not marking the points, I am directly joining. Since I am not following dimensions. Marking is not very important. My idea is to bring approximate shape to the drawing. A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, O1, F1, G1, H1, I1, J1. This is P1. It's a new plan. New plan. Actually, this is the width. Actually, my width is too much. Some odd dimension I have marked. Okay, now you have to draw X2 by 2. To be, before drawing X2 by 2, you have to find out what beta you know the procedure of finding beta draw a horizontal line take true length of axis true length equal 50 this angle is 40 40 beta uh, phi is 40 phi equals 40 draw a locus take the plan length of axis from here and cut an arc this angle is called beta this is plan length now draw extend o1 p1 extend O1 P1. You can draw X2 Y2 here nearer to J1 or here nearer to H1. In the redrawing method, you, you point J1 is nearer to VP. Point J is nearer to VP. If you do the same thing here, you have to draw X2 Y2 here, it will mix up with all these things. So I will make H1 
nearer to the P. So what I do? Somewhere take a point on extension of the axis. This is the axis extension. Take beta and draw a line. Then draw a projector from H1 perpendicular to X, this X2, A2. This is X2, A2. Temporary, this is temporarily drawn X2, A2. Draw a projector through H1 perpendicular to that. Agree? Measure how much is this. It will not be 15. Then take 15 from here and get a point. Through that point, draw the final X2, A2. And remove the first X2, A2. I hope you understand. This is 15. That is how x2, y2 is drawn. You have that is how we ensure the distance of the nearest corner to VP as 15 mm. Ensure this is 15. Now you know the procedure. Draw projectors. Draw projectors to all points. Perpendicular to x2 by 2. Take the distance of all points from x1 by 1 and mark on the respective projector from x2 by 2. I repeat, take the distance of each point from x1 by 1 and mark on the respective projector from x2 by 2. Example, a dash, this much away, a dash as well as b dash. Take that distance. On the projector through A1, this is A1 dash, and similarly, this is B1 dash. B1 dash. B1 dash, zero distance. B1 dash. C1 dash, this much away. C1 dash, same is the distance of D1 dash. And O, this much away, on the projector through O, I have not drawn the projector through O, somewhere here is, somewhere here is, O and dash. Similarly, mark points on the respective projectors, this will be the, this will be the shape of the base, similarly you get the shape of the top, and you can connect them by straight lines to get the final elevation. Same procedure. Take this distance I dash on the projector through I mark I one dash F F one dash G one dash H H1 dash I F G H I J okay J1 dash J1 dash okay that is the That is how it will look like. This is how it will look like. This is beta. This is the plan. This is actually elevation. Plan x y elevation beta already calculated and taken here beta. I hope you understand. Take some time to draw. I mean, the, if you have got instruments, you can easily draw. Without instruments, I have to make a lot of approximations. I hope you understand. If you are happy with the presentation, please subscribe my channel and uh, like my channel and share it among your friends. Please give it to your juniors. Okay. Thank you.